Welcome, get up, summit attendees. What a great day it has been so far. Special shout out to DJ Kara. Hopefully, you guys caught that DJ said at the beginning of the day. That was amazing. My name is Crystal Sparks, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys on this beautiful afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I'm just happy to be here. Okay. So first off, we'd like to start with a few thank yous and shout outs to our amazing sponsors. Thank you to our happy hour sponsor, CNCF. Of course, thank you you so much, CNCF. Thank you to our host, also CNCF. Thank you to our partners, Code Fresh and Red Hat. Also, thank you to our supporting sponsor, Puppet. Shout out to all you guys, all, all of you. Next, we've got a fun surprise for our Get Ups Summit attendees, all of you. We'll be giving away custom Get Ups Summit towels to those of you who are joining us here today for trivia. So keep an eye on the chat to see if you've won. You've got to be present to win. All right. Now on to trivia. Woo, woo. Okay, so the winner of our trivia game today will win a CDF swag bundle, including a T-shirt, socks, and a Tecton plushie. I don't know what that means, but it sounds really, really cool. Please note that winners will be required to claim their prize with the same email that they used to register for this. All right, everyone. Our trivia is going to begin very, very soon. But before it does, I just want to let you know, this goes really fast. There is no time to ask Alexa or Siri or Google or your 17-year-old son. No, none of that. You just have to put your thinking cap on and get right in there. So I'm going to ask a question. There's going to be 100 points up on the board. And as the time clicks down to answer the question, I think there's like 20 seconds. As the time winds down, those points go down too. So if you answer a question right when I ask it, you'll get 100 points. But if the time winds down to like the very end, you'll get like just a little bit. So. Go ahead and scan that QR code on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen with your phone, or if you'd prefer to play on your computer, you can just start a new tab or a new window and go to crowd.live and enter the code EBDKM. Again, you can go to crowd.live and enter the code E as an elephant, B as in berry, D as in dog, K as in koala, M as in Mary. Or you could just scan that QR code in the bottom hand left of the screen. Just take your cell phone out. Boop. All right, everyone. There is 10 of you. There are 10 of you in here. So we are going to get started in just a little minute. We're going to see if more people are coming into the room. So you all already know how to play, which is great. You will have a competitive edge over everyone else. So I'm feeling confident that you 10 are going to be leading the board. Once again, oh, we have 16 people in here now. Okay, I'm just going to, you guys, or all of you, if you can scan that code on the left-hand side of the screen, or if you want to play on your computer, you can just type in crowd.live and enter the code EBDKM. Once you enter that code, it's going to take you to the site where you need to be, or you can just pull out your cell phone and boop. Scan the QR code, whatever you want to do, whatever your heart desires. Just to, all right, we're going to give everyone one more minute, but just so everyone knows, these questions go really, really fast. This is trivia, like speed trivia. So you need to really be listening and you need to just follow your instincts. Just follow your instincts. All right. All right. I think everyone is all signed up. Once again, my name is Crystal Sparks. I'm your host for this trivia game. Really excited about this. This is really, really fun. So just remember to have fun, and I hope you all are smiling wherever you are because we're getting into it. 
All right, the first trivia question is up on the board. What is the name of this 1930 painting by artist Grant Wood? Is it American Farmer, Rustic Courtship, Two Farmers Home, or American Gothic? These farmers do not look very happy. I guess it's not very fun to be a farmer back in the day. I don't know. 12 seconds left on the board. 10 seconds, eight seconds. Ooh, those points are winding down. I hope you got the answer in because we are out in two seconds. One second, boom. Everyone sees how fast that went. All right, 67% of you said American Gothic and you will have been correct. Very nice. Happy to see it. All right, NB at the top, SK in second, and Shayla coming in third, and Brent right behind Shayla. All right, this bird is a large flightless bird native to New Guinea and Australia. What color are the eggs? Are they green? Are they blue? Are they yellow? Or are they red? Now, judging by this bird's head, I guess I could go. Actually, I really have no idea what the answer could be. That time is ticking down. I hope you all got your answers in. Hope Siri, Alexa, Echo, whoever answered you because we only have three seconds. Two, one, boom, and we're done. Let's see how the board looks. All right, 52% of you said green, which will have been correct. Very nice, everyone. 52% of you got that right. Let's see who's leading the board. NB and Shayla still at the top of the leaderboard. Double I, R, double I, X coming in third. All right. With his win for the father in 2021, this 83-year-old became the oldest winner of an acting Academy Award. Is it A, Anthony Hopkins, Morgan Freeman, Clint Eastwood, or Lawrence Olivier? This is actually a difficult question. 43 points left on the board. 40. Ooh, these points are skipping down real quick on this one. Let's see if everyone knows their Hollywood trivia. Three, two, one, and we're out of here. All right. Let's see how everyone did. 60% of you said Anthony Hopkins. He has a couple of Oscars. Oh, very nice. You would have been correct. 60% of you got that right. NB and Shayla still leading the leaderboard. Very nice. NB is starting to pull away. Let's see if they can maintain that lead. All right, French toast actually had its origin from what early civilization? That French toast looks delicious. I don't know. There's no time to look at it. We've got to know the answer. Ancient Egypt, Roman Empire, Aztecs, ancient Greece. Whatever the answer is, that French toast looks so good. Look at the powdered sugar, the strawberries, the blueberries. Everything looks fresh. Everything looks crunchy. None of that soggy stuff. Five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one. And that question is done. Let's see how everyone did. Ooh, 59% of you said Roman Empire. I'd say that's a pretty good guess. 17 of you got it correct. Let's see who was at the top of the leaderboard still. NB still holding strong with Shayla nipping at the bud. Let's see how we're going to do in this next question. All right, everyone. The ninth installment in the Fast and the Furious film franchise will be released on June 25th. That is ooh, this weekend. What's the official title of the new film? Is it AF9, Ninth Day of Rising, The Furious Nine, or Fast and Furious Nine Lives? If you live in LA, you've seen this billboards all over town, so you should already know. If you don't, I'm not sure how you would know. Maybe just guess. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and we are done with this question. Let's see. 59% of you said AF9. Very nicely done. That is correct. That is the next installment of Fast and Furious. And be still old and strong. And Shayla right behind you with 443. Let's see how everyone does on this one. All right. Chimpanzees and gorillas have human-like fingerprints. And so do which of these animals. Man, those points are going real fast. Raccoons, otters, koalas, or gophers. I love this picture of this chimpanzee playing the electric guitar that's or is that the bass that's the bass all right 10 seconds everyone those points are going down real quick seven seconds six seconds five seconds which of these has human-like hands i don't know let's see 59 percent of you said koalas and you would be correct way to go they have hands just like us which is really interesting right and be still holding strong with shayla right behind with 538 all right, this English rock band is dressed so great in this photo. Love this picture. The Beatles, they formed in 1960 in which British city? Edinburgh, London, Liverpool, or Manchester? 
I feel like I have to say Manchester. Like, I can't just say Manchester. Manchester. All right. Where did they get those outfits from? I mean, what ba- what city did they form in the 1960s? Which one was it? Three seconds, two seconds, one. We are done with this question. Everyone, I'm so proud of you. 88% of you said C, Liverpool, and you are correct. You all are doing great. NB still in the lead. Shayla holding it down, though. Creeping up behind. Irix is right behind as well. All right. Every year, June 6th commemorates the landing operations of the Allied invasion of Normandy, France, which helped end World War II. What is the name of this event? D-Day, Battle of the Bulge, Attack on Pearl Harbor, or Battle of Midway. That is an action-packed photo. Okay, no time to look at the photo. Gotta get the answer right. Who knows the answer? Is it D-Day, Battle of the Balls, Pearl Harbor, or Battle of Midway? And we are out of time. Hopefully you listened in social studies. Looks like 78% of you went with D-Day and you will have been correct. Shout out to my ninth grade social studies teacher in this one. NB and Shayla still leading the leaderboard with double I R double I X right behind. All right, everyone. Some North Americans are expecting the noisy arrival or are experiencing. No, they're experiencing it right now. Luckily I live in LA. I don't have to worry about it, but these early arrival of cicadas this summer, an insect species that only emerges from underground once every blank amount of years. I wish I could just come out once every couple of years and just be like, hey, I'm here, and then go back to sleep. Let's see how you all, now this is the loudest bug in the world, so you don't want them to come around too often. Oh, time is up. Let's see how you all did. 69% of you said the answer is 17 years, and you will have been correct way to go. Everyone else probably doesn't live in the Northeast of the United States. So yes, yeah, every 17 years, the cicadas make an appearance. I don't know. Crazy. NB still holding it down with Shayla right behind. This leaderboard has not changed the top three. All right. The American Society of Civil Engineers compiled a list of seven wonders of the modern world in 1994. Which of these is not located in North America? The CN Tower? The Empire State Building, the Golden Great Bridge, or the Panama Canal. Keep in mind it says North America, so that may trip some people up a little bit. Just remember that one, okay? We're running out of time. Only five seconds left on the board. What is the answer? I need to know. Time is up. Hopefully you got some points up in there. Looks like 52% of you said the Panama Canal, and you would have been correct. Way to go, everyone. I'm super proud of you. Majority is winning. Majority is getting all of these right. All right. NB still at the top. Ooh, Shayla dipped down to number three. Double IRX. I see you. Okay. The Chicago Bulls defeated which team for their sixth and final NBA title of the 1990s? The Phoenix Suns, Seattle Supersonics, LA Dodgers, or the Utah Jazz? All right. Well, one of these isn't even a basketball team. So process of elimination. Y'all should at least know, you know, go somewhere. All right. Only 10 seconds. Now there's 10 seconds left on the board. The points are dwindling down. What could the answer possibly be? Is it basketball or baseball? (laughs) All right, time is up. 38, 36% of you said the Phoenix Suns, and you would have been incorrect. 24% got it right, the Utah Jazz. NB is still killing it in the lead with over 1,000 points, but Irix is right behind All right, everyone, on what planet of our solar system is a day longer than a year? Venus, Krypton, Mars, or Saturn? This is a very interesting question. Who listened in third grade planetary class? I did remember learning about the planets in third grade. Did you is the question, and were you listening? Only five seconds left on the board. Who's it going to be? Who's taking home the prize? 38, ooh, 38 and 44%. You guys are kind of split between Saturn and Venus, but everyone who said Venus was correct. Venus was the correct answer because it is so close to the sun. It has a fast orbit, completing a revolution in 225 Earth days one day all right nb still at the top of the board with over 1100 points irix right behind nb all right we're going up american television series friends features six best friends including joey phoebe chandler rachel ross and who is it courtney is it crystal that's my name is it matthew or is it monica now if you were a fan of this show 
your fingers automatically clicked the right answer. I don't even have to worry about you. It's people who didn't watch the show that are like, hmm, I don't know. They're all, I don't know, but time's up. Let's see how everyone did. Okay, overwhelmingly, everyone said Monica. 74% got the answer correct. Great job, even though, okay, Monica was played by actress Courtney Cox. Even though my name is Crystal, I like that name. It was not the correct answer. All right, moving on. NB still in the lead with over 1,200 points. Irix and Shayla right behind at the number two and the number three spot. Beyonce was born and raised in which American city? New York, Vancouver, Houston, or Oklahoma City? Which is the answer? I accidentally just gave you a hint. Let's see if you picked it up. New York, Vancouver, Houston, or Oklahoma City? If you are part of the Bayhive, you already know this answer. All right, everyone, seven seconds left on the board. Five seconds. That's right, Beyonce. You show them that ring. She is fierce. Mm. Time is up. Let's see. 63% of you said Houston, and you would have been absolutely correct. Very nice. Everybody should know. There needs to be a day named after Beyonce, maybe a statue. Let's see. NB, over 1,200 points, but Irix right behind and Mac Mac trying to come up. Okay, I see you. The skyline of one international city is largely identified by the famous building shown here. Which city does this live in? Is it Milan, Italy? Sydney, Australia, Athens, Greece, or Paris, France. All cities equally beautiful, I'm sure, but only one of them has that really cool theater bridge looking landscape. All right, time's up. Not sure if you figured it out or not, but let's see. 94% of you said Sydney, Australia. That is an overwhelming majority, and 94% of you would have been correct. That's pretty much everyone. Great job. Now, that actually cost $102 million, largely paid for by the state lottery. All right, NB is in the lead with 1,379 points. Irix, number two, 1,331 points. Doing great, everyone. How many eyes do bees have? This is crazy. Who knew? I never knew how many eyes bees have, but I do know they're endangered, so do not kill them. All right, do they have two eyes, five eyes, three eyes, or 12 eyes. The way that people run from bees, you would think they had 12 eyes, but I don't know. All right, everyone, seven seconds, six seconds left on the board. Bees are our friends. That is correct, and we need them to pollinate. Time is up. What is the answer? 53% of you said five eyes. Okay, so everyone knew that? I had no idea that that was the answer. Looks like everyone knew. You all are very smart. NB still killing it in the lead. 1,473 points. Irix, 1,424 points. Trying to catch up. Crutar, that's a new one in the leaderboard. Top three. Okay. A number of companies use bells in their logos. That is true. There are a lot of bells in logos these days. The bell seen here belongs to Bell Laboratories, AT&T, Taco Bell, or BL's department store, Beals department store. I wonder if that's a real department store. I've never heard of that department store before, but you don't have much time to think about it because the clock is about to run out. Two seconds on the clock. Boom. We are done with that answer. Looks like 81% of you knew the answer. A said Bell Laboratories. I, you must have never been to Taco Bell. All right. C, Taco Bell, 81% of you. The food uh, fast food Taco Bell comes from its founder, Glenn Bell. That's why it's called Taco Bell. NB still killing it in the lead, 1,567 points. Irix right behind NB. Let's see how everyone does on this question. Between 2008 and 2012, Lindsey Vaughn won four World Cup championships. Oh, my goodness. That is a lot. In what sport? Badminton? Skiing? Figure skating? Or volleyball? Now, all of those Sports are actually extremely difficult. She looks like a very tough person. Let's see. Hmm. I hope you can figure it out because I do not know the answer. And time is out. Let's see which sport you all. Okay. 78% of you said skiing. And that would have been correct. Oh, 76%. You all are very smart. It seems like you all knew the answer. NB, Irix, and Crutars leading the leaderboard. Mac Mac just underneath. See if you can get back on the top three. All right, let's see. An annual LGBT Awareness Day is observed every October 11th. What is this day also known as? A, National Coming Out Day. B, Harvey Milk Day. C, Pride Day. Or D, International Day Against Homophobia. 
If you don't know, you're about to learn something right now. 10 seconds left on the board. Ooh, these points are going down quickly. This is the second to last question, so I hope you all are getting it. All right, how did we do? Ooh, pretty split. 47% said C, but 39% of you got it right. It is actually National Coming Out Day. So NB is at the top of the leaderboard. Irix and Kruta are right behind. Well, Kruta is a little bit behind. This is the last question, everyone. Though most parts of the human body shrink with age, the nose and blank actually keep growing. I noticed my grandmother had very large Bs. A, feet, B, fingers, C, ears, or D, eyes. This is a very, very interesting question. The human body never ceases to amaze me. All right, only six seconds left on the board. Three seconds, two, one, and this was your last question. 84% of you said ears, and you were correct. The rest of the human body shrinks as we go older, but our noses, earlobes, and ear muscles actually keep getting bigger. That's crazy. Now you know who your winner is and be at the very top of the leaderboard. Put your hands together, your virtual hands together for NB. Way to go. NB answered 20 out of 20 correctly. Oh, my gosh. And so did Irix answer 20 out of 20. 1793. But speed really mattered here. Great job to all of you. It looks like you actually all did very great. I'm very proud of you. So we want to give another shout out to our sponsors. Thank you so much for our hosts and to our partners, our partners, Code Fresh and Red Hat. Thank you to our support, Puppet. Thank you so much to our happy hour sponsors. Everybody loves the happy hour sponsors. Thank you so, so much. And to our hosts, CD Foundation and Cloud Native, to our partners, Code Fresh and Red Hat. You guys are great. Our happy hour sponsor and our host, CNCF. Couldn't have done this without you. Thank you so much, everyone. Once again, my name is Crystal Sparks. This was really fun. I hope you guys had fun playing. Um, the winner, please remember to email us at events at cd.foundation to claim your prize. And you all can't say that you're winners, even though you're all winners in my eyes. There was only one winner here. You must email events at cd.foundation to claim your prize. Once again, thank you so much to Happy Hour sponsors, CNCF, the host, CNCF, the partners, Code Fresh and Red Hat, and our supporting sponsor, Puppet. You all have a great rest of the day. My name is Crystal Sparks. See ya.